No one ever pretended that it was easy, least of all those early dreamers and starters. and the consummate grace of the bird eluded us and remained as a challenge. Most of those who tried and failed were visionaries, tinkerers. Then came the others, dreamers too, but dreamers with knowledge and understanding. Two brothers from Dayton. They understood. They knew they were close and that the failure of the moment was temporary, a necessary step toward the goal. years after da Vinci's prediction, they made it happen on a lonely beach in North Carolina. And they did fill the world with stupor. The Wright brothers from Dayton, they understood, they knew. They knew because they worked at the science of flight. They knew because they studied and built on the work of others who came before them. Cayley, Lilienthal, Chanute, and in turn, they were studied by others, Langley, Curtis, and many more, all in some way, at some time, adding to the knowledge and the understanding. Some faces, some names, stand out in history, and others are forgotten. Who were these men? Adventurers and barnstormers, those magnificent men, striking poses in front of their flying machines, their aeroplanes, those men with their scarves and goggles and dreams. Those rakish men posed and gathered at small flying fields all across America. And even the occasional daring young woman. All of them, they also knew the moment, the instant of freedom, the moment of adventure. 